Everybody, it's Chris from Prepared Mind 101 out here with Will from Manus Outdoors. Just doing a couple videos today. I'm going to be doing more videos tomorrow. So I wanted to do the easy one right now because most of you know this, well, all of you, even those of you that are not yet born know this brand. And most of you are familiar with the product, but it is updated. Difference is, I just got the updated one. So what we're talking about here is I've got the new updated Leatherman Wave, the Leatherman Wave Plus. And since we're looking at it right now, I actually like the freaking holster on this. Most Leatherman holsters, I get them out and I throw it in the trash because they suck. This one doesn't. I actually, the way that they did this one is nice. It doesn't have a bunch of extra freaking parts and pockets and like, well, maybe you're going to want to put all your bits and your drivers and and your work lights and Socket no, set. they just made it big enough for the actual tool itself. And I really like the way this, uh, the way this snap works on this thing. Shut the hell up, bird. We're back to that again. You do know you're outside, right? I don't know. You know I that. know, but he does know I'm shooting a video. Birds have birds are one of the most disrespectful animals in the animal kingdom. What? I want to see a sheath. Anyway, if you want to find out more about this Leatherman, don't go away. You know, the first Leatherman that I have, well, the original Leatherman when I was a kid, but the first Leatherman that I purchased as an adult was a Leatherman Wave. And I agree totally with Chris, the, the sheaths that they have usually are just like, yeah, I'm getting rid of that thing. I'll just throw it in a pocket or something like that. But this seems, the, the material itself seems a lot stiffer, a lot sturdier. Plus the closure is a lot better. The Velcro that they usually have wears out really quickly. And then nine times out of 10, you'll be walking around like this. And then all of a sudden, oh, that's wet. Wow, that's not even falling out. <laughs> Will, does, Will does a lot of spontaneous cartwheels. <laughs> yeah, I look like the type, right? Just in this type, do a lot of like spontaneous cartwheels. But no, I have like got into a hammock with my Leatherman and uh, on my side and, and you know, get out of the hammock, the Leatherman's in the hammock because it fell out of the sheath or something like that. And that's just asking for catastrophe to happen and I actually lose the thing. You know, they're not cheap. But yeah, I definitely agree with Chris. These sheets are a lot better, nice upgrade. All right, so we've talked about this enough. Let's take a look at the tool. So the biggest thing about this being updated is something that people have been asking Leatherman to do for years, and that is they now have the replaceable cutters. So that's the big major upgrade on this. It's been a long time since I had a wave, so I don't know if anything else is different on it. I don't think so. That way I don't have to like, I'll go through everything real quick anyway. But uh, w one thing I do want to get, because I probably won't, even though I do like the sheath, I don't like a bunch of stuff on my belt. So I probably will get the, the pocket clip that snaps in right there so I can just carry it in my pocket. But I've been using the Leatherman Signal now for about two, two and a half years. And that's been my favorite one just because I don't use all the tools that often. Uh, all the extra tools, but that one has everything that I need. But this does have some nice extra tools to it, which can come in handy. Uh, if you want to know which one is the serrated blade, the serrated blade is going to have the ridges on it right there. I don't always use serrated blades that often, but they will mess up an Amazon box really quick. Over here, you got your saw, which... One of the most useful tools in there. Will says it's one of the most useful tools in there. Cutting notches, fireboard. Yeah, if you're, if you're doing a little bushcrafty type stuff, it is. Oh, yeah. uh, someone's going to be like, oh, wouldn't, I'd carry a silky saw. That's not small enough. It's for what? It's for mostly little crafting type stuff. Yeah, cutting notches, fireboards. So you've like got that. a little diamond side right there. You can touch up your knife. You got your file, uh, so you can have nice fingernails when you're doing product reviews. Now, I just use my teeth. 
Actually, that file is really good for uh, knocking arrows, back of arrows and stuff like that, primitive arrows. The big thing everyone always complains about not having, skizzers. Sometimes they do come in handy when you're trying to do little precision things. You know, maybe you're trying to cut a little stray thread or something off your coat. Maybe you're out in the woods, you find a book of coupons, you're like, I don't need all these coupons, but some of them I could definitely save some money. And you can just cut out the ones that you want. Uh, flathead. This is the one that I don't ever freaking use. As soon as I say that, I'm going to use it. So the little precision screwdriver for like eyeglasses, I guess, would be, you know, the big thing. I've used it for gouges before. Screwdriver and can opener, wire strip. Is this, is this a wire stripper right here? Is this for stripping wires? Okay. Yeah. yeah. I knew that. I just wanted to let the audience know that you knew that. I know, right? Um, when I got it, it was a little bit, you know, crunchy, as a lot of these tools often are. I used some uh, super lube and a pen hit all the moving parts so yay I finally got a new multi-tool been using the same freaking multi-tool for a while now it, I don't think that I'm like surprising anybody here that you don't know about the Leatherman Wave but just in case you didn't that they do have these replaceable cutters there they are nice so I bought this one Myself, I don't have it. I don't know anybody at Leatherman, so I bought it through DLT. So all the links to there in the description box below. But wait, there's more. I got something else from DLT because it's like, well, if I'm gonna get this, I, I was just feeling it. I wanted something different. So since I got this, I also got one other thing. So let's consider this other knife a bonus. But as far as multi-tools go, now that they have the replaceable cutters in the wave, I think this one is the one to beat. It's not too heavy. Not like the, the Surge is. Surge is a great tool, but man, that thing is heavy. Has just about everything you could possibly need. So what's this other mystery knife that I got? Okay, I don't know what it was about this one that caught my eye. It just did. So this right here is the Great Eastern Farm and Field number 71 Bullnose. The handle is orange Delrin. It's very, uh, Delrin is a very dense material, very smooth. It's a slip joint. It's a little bit of a stiff slip joint. Maybe that's going to loosen up over time. And then the blade is 1095 carbon steel. So we're going to baton with this. <laughs> no, we're not. Uh, this is a nice, this is just like a nice little slip joint that's made from some different materials than I'm used to seeing. It's a little, little pocket knife. I didn't need it. It just kind of like jumped out at me. It was a little, I thought maybe it was a, kind of a bit much. But then I considered the materials and everything, and this was like, I think I paid like 50 bucks for this, somewhere around there. So it's not for everybody, and it's not something that you need, it's not something that you have to have. Maybe I just want it. Maybe you just like these kind of knives, maybe you just want it. Came with a good edge. Uh, I did touch it up just a hair, because my version of a good edge is different from production company's version of a good edge. It's like, how do you test something like this? Oh, you cut stuff. Well, no sh Sherlock. We know it can do that. Right. Let's see what Will thinks. Oh, God. As always, Chris just throws something in my hand. <laughs> you don't have to bushcraft with it. Just see what... Because this is something a lot different from what I usually do. Right. You are on. Yep, let's keep it going. Yeah, yeah. So as usual, Chris, no. <laughs> hey, man, I like little pocket knives like this. Uh, like Chris said, it is 
pretty stiff. It almost seems like it opens two stages, don't it? Yeah. But really stiff, but a nice basic design, pretty decent handle. Just a nice, cool little yeah, they come with a pocket they, knife. They come in a, a bunch of different colors and materials, like the micarta and all sorts of stuff. That's just the, uh, I'm a dumbass, I dropped it in the woods color. All right. So, yeah, I mean, I would, I'd carry it around. Fit and finish. And it's stiff. Yeah. It's not a locking blade, but for that lockup, it doesn't have to be. It's the locking blades are dangerous, and you should definitely turn in your knife if you live in the, the UK. That's cookie monster thing. Yeah. Because only cowards carry knives. <laughs> let's get political now, Chris. <laughs> well, let's jump on that bandwagon. Let's it's ride so it. It's so stupid. It's like these people don't understand. This is the oldest tool in human history and the most useful. Pretty much. Pretty much. But, uh, yeah, I like it. I dig it for 50 bucks. Yeah, look at that feather stick he just made with it. Well, it was it was orange. It confused me. So, okay. Pretty decent, Chris. But yeah, it's it's just something something a little different. I figured, well, you know, I got it for me, but I'll find a, a video that I can work it in there somewhere. I also got uh, the, the little Leatherman juice that it's got. It's a little slip joint with two blades. I don't have that out here with me because I got this one. So maybe I'll show that in another video. So this is just uh, two cool things that I got myself uh, from DLT. Speaking of DLT, a treat for myself. as I was saying, speaking of DLT, uh, we were just, I, I pulled it up on my phone because I wanted to get the, the correct name of this knife and I'm scrolling through the newest arrivals looking for it and I see a bunch of new bush bats. It's like, so, I'm like, hey, maybe you like want to let the design I'm the boss. Need the info. Maybe you let the designer know that those are theirs so he can tell people. <laughs> so yeah, there's a bunch of new uh GX4 bush bats up on DLT. I don't I, I didn't look because I was on DLT looking for this, so I don't I'm assuming maybe Knife Ship Free has some too. But we haven't had a, a, a replacement run of GX4s in some time. I don't know how many they got, but I definitely saw that they do have some new ones and some nice handle material. So yeah, it's uh, DLT Tastic Day. Um, the big, the biggest thing that I wanted to show because this right here, you know, maybe this is a video I can repeat sometime. But you know, maybe two years or so ago, I did a video with something about like the my top five most important everyday carry items, and multi tool was on there. So this is definitely worth showing even if you all already know about it and i just happen to have some other stuff too so all cool all cool if any of those interest you i will have links to them in the description box below and let me just put this up in the sunlight because no i don't wear eyeliner <laughs> i saw an old comment on an old video eyeliner. when i'm wearing my hat in the shadow Looks like you're wearing. Yeah, so it's like every once in a while I gotta he be like. He was going through his cure phase, yeah. okay? Yeah, man, I was going through my goth phase. It's like I was getting more in touch with my emotions, and I just, I was just, Sweet I was. Dreams are made of these. I don't know about Marilyn Manson though. That's taking it a bit far. <laughs> that guy's not right. You know why? Because he's from Canton, Ohio. All right, sorry. I probably just edited all that out. Anyway, if you're interested, uh, links to all these are going to be in the description box below. Uh, we're going to film a whole bunch of more stuff here tomorrow. Camp stuff, snot knife stuff. So if you're interested, stick around. And we'll always try to bring you fresh new content and as much will as you can handle. Alright guys, see you next time.